Welcome to Toronto. It's the largest city in Canada and is home to the University of Toronto, the largest post-secondary school in Canada. Right downtown, the university has built more than 120 buildings over the 190 years since it started. And the energy required to operate these buildings is enormous. With 75,000 people on campus daily, it takes a dedicated power plant just to keep us warm during our cold Canadian winters. The secret to staying warm when it's negative 30 Celsius or negative 22 Fahrenheit outside is this stack rising out of the heart of our campus. In 2012, when people thought the world was going to end, UFT celebrated 100 years of district energy. So, what is district energy? District energy is a system that distributes thermal energy to multiple buildings in an area or neighborhood from a central location. Here, this system consists of a central heating and about four large cooling centers which supply hot and cold energy to a network of underground pipes connected to campus buildings. That way, we don't need boilers and chillers in every building, and we get to reuse the water circulating the campus in those thermal pipes. This centralized distribution system is pretty efficient already, but we managed to boost it even further through the use of a combined heat and power system. Basically, natural gas gets burned in a turbine like a jet engine, which then powers a generator to provide about a quarter of the electricity on campus. The heat from the burning gas then gets captured by the heat recovery steam generator to produce steam, which is used for heating. Then, all the leftover heat from that is captured by the flu heat recovery system and is used to produce hot water to heat even more buildings. In the summer, we use a steam-driven chiller, so steam produced from the heat recovery steam generator can also be used for cooling purposes in the summer. Using waste heat rather than electricity to provide cooling saves the university 1 million kilowatt hours annually. Our district energy system works hand in hand with tri generation to help the university function while wasting less energy, allowing us to save costs and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. All these buildings are using our system. With these ones using steam for heating. These ones using our electricity. And these ones using our cooling. Climate change and environmental issues are getting even more real and urgent. We need actions at every level, and district energy is a great way to help us get closer to being sustainable and clean in our energy use.